and welcome to another IndieSoft Tip Tuesday. Today we'll be going over charge templates. These are different from template charges. I know it's a little confusing, but uh, with charge templates, you can actually use charges and templates separately for gauges. So in this scenario, let's say you've got this asset here, asset number one, and say it's a caliper and you have a regular template for calipers attached to it, but it has its own special pricing. So down here, when you go to charges, you don't want to link those from the templates. And you want to create your own charge template for this type of pricing because you have a couple of other calipers that are similar. They share all the regular information from the templates, but they have different charges. So what you can do is kind of create a special charge template for those calipers. So down here in charges, you have this link here that will let you choose a charge template. And right now, all I have is a standard caliper. So we're going to have to create a new one. And to do that, we can open up the charge templates module here and click the green plus button to create a new one. So then we'll call this just special caliper, keep it simple, and add in our charges like this. So 17025 calibration, let's say they're 250. We can add in a pair if we want. We'll just go 60 for that and shipping. And you can add as many charges as you want here. Now, uh, you can also search for templates. So once you start building these up and you have a ton and you need to find a specific one, you can always search with the binoculars here and this will bring up your pretty generic search box. And then you can also cycle through them with the buttons here, just like you do on templates. You can attach these charge templates to regular templates if you want to, but in this scenario, we're not going to do that because the whole point is that we have charges that do not have the same consistency across all gauges that use the same template. So if you attach this to the template, it kind of defeats the purpose of having different charge templates for gauges that share the same regular template. And here you can also review what equipment is related to this. Since we just created it, we don't have any yet, but we'll see it go up to one once we attach it to this asset number one here. So to attach our new charge template, we just pull in special caliper. Now that we've added it, it'll load in our charges and that is how it's going to pull in its charge information for estimates or calibration events, repair events, shipping events, things of that nature. And just to go in and check here, we can review that we have all the related equipment here. So that's just a basic overview of charge templates. They're not very complicated, but they are very useful once you get them built up and uh, they can kind of up your template game. Anyways, that's it for today's Tip Tuesday. Until next week, happy calibrating.